Alrighty, so here we are in week 15. Again, I'm traveling to the future because we're actually <laughs> in like the late part, the last part of October when I'm recording this. I'm just trying to work ahead. Um, also to get a better idea of where this um, tutorial is going. So here's what I mean. Oh, and I need to include the link to this just so you have it. So I'll do that after the video. So I really, um, as I looked at this originally, I kind of do the following. I kind of just glaze at it. But once I get to the part of preparing for your code along videos, then I actually go through and code it myself just to give me an idea of how well my guess was and actually in this case i have to say i'm pretty satisfied at least with this first segment so here's the deal you're gonna watch and code along with uh up to an hour and about one hour and 18 minutes okay now that may sound like a lot compared to the udemy course that we've been doing but honestly i think it flows much better um, and if you so desire, I suspect you all know this, but you can increase the playback speed. Uh, I actually did this. I, I increased that. I did notice I had to stop quite often, but I really enjoyed this. Here's the other thing is that he's broken this video into segments, okay? Uh, and you can see this as you mouse over. So we're going to do all the way to the end of build a simple calculator app. Okay, and this was great. Uh, matter of fact, I'm thinking about how we could use this in our learn together this week, maybe to add some functionality, but I got to give that a little thought or maybe some styling or something like that. Okay, so just coming back here, what you want to do is each segment in this case has a file associated with it. Okay, so what you want to do and by the way, I ended up, and let me just move over and show you, I created a new directory in my private repo for uh, Kenter, T Kenter. I've been saying it wrong this whole time. Um, I did it outside of the Udemy. I want you to do the same. I did notice in his discussion, he actually called it GUI, but I think Kenter, T Kenter is a better way to do this, okay? So then this is the code at the final one. And do know that really all you're doing here, um, there's my all my commit on the last one. As you're just running this and then it actually runs the graphical, it creates that graphical interface. And then, right, uh, you're doing, uh, again, I really enjoyed this last one. I think I like that it's more of a complete app idea. And it really shows you showcasing this idea. But you could also think about how could, how better could I code this, right? But that's okay, that's good. So the point is, is that you're gonna have to complete each of these parts of the video, having these file names, and at the end of each, do a commit with the message, introduction, positioning, creating buttons, input fields, and then calculator, which is, of course, the longest, okay? So then once you've done committing for each of them, and hopefully you're used to this by now, uh, once you're done, then you push them to GitHub, right? Now, some of you still have a little confusion here, so let me just go through it, all right? So when you're showing me this list, you're showing me the files that got created. What I'm wanting you to give me is the history, okay? And the history gives me the commits itself. Now I had done a couple before I got started in, in this, but what you should see is commit for each one of these items. Okay. So it's really helpful too, as you're watching the video, you can see these here, but he takes a pretty logical break between each one creates a new file and moves on. So that should be a good hint for you, um, to actually stop, do your commit, and then continue on, knowing that you don't have to do your push until the end. And then when you submit, you submit your commits, okay? So copy that. And then in Canvas, that's what you will submit, okay? So anyway, I hope this helps you out. I hope um, it gives you a better idea of what I want you to do and how I want you to break this up. It follows along with what he's done already. Um, and 
I think that's it for this one. Um, I'm looking forward to, th to giving thought and I'm actually trying to work ahead more to work through this entire tutorial so I can then consider like, you know, like my first, and I'll, I'll end with this, but my first idea of our last dev, which is on December 10th, my first thinking of this is you just take whatever you've created for dev one and uh, have it working inside of this graphical uh, T Kenter, Kenter um, graphical user interface. That's my first thought. So, but the reason I want to get all the way through it is to see if there is anything that we would need to add. But I think that's where you will, based on your own development, have to figure out if you need to dig a little further into Kenter to get that done. So that's the other vein I'll start doing is for myself is take my game and start putting it in Kenter so I can see where I'm going to need to venture a little more. Hope that makes sense. Just giving you a little preview there. But again, here we are actually in the week. We're actually in Dev 1. I'm just trying to work ahead. Have a great one. Talk to you later.